Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be kind of doing a kit up, but not really, because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be, so my current ABs and rhinestones are currently in this box here in um, zip baggies. It's, I even have some drills I got from shimmering canvases here. Um, they're currently in these baggies, um, and this is how I use them when I'm blinging up something. The only thing is, I don't like diamond painting from the baggies, so what I am going to do is I, mean, I have this um, new storage system that I got here. My plan is to use these to hold my um, to hold my ABs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill them up with the, I'm gonna use this as my like um, excess because I don't these. These bottles don't tend to hold that much, so what I'm going to use, I'm going to use these as my active use ABs and rhinestones, and the ones here are just going to be when I need to fill it up. And then I'll, I'll, I'll gauge wet, what colors I use more often. So if you didn't watch my unboxing of the um, where I got these ABs, I'll link it below. Um, I got 1,000 grams of ABs from a place on AliExpress and I just had them give me pretty much some of every single color they had so that was 62 different colors so they I got 62 different colors divided into a thousand grams so they were about like 16 something each or 15 grams each um, so um, so that's why I have several and I am finding, I am having so much more fun diamond painting ones when I'm bling them up, so, so yeah. So what I'm gonna do, I have them in order by color and I kind of want to put them in order by color too because I feel like that's the best way to use it for the purposes I'm doing, which is blinging up a diamond painting because you don't always have to do an exact DMC to DMC, um, match, you could use something close enough. So what I ended up doing is I, I may, I put... I made this and I put it on some label paper and then I don't have a cutting machine so I just used a blade and this to cut them into squares. So this is um, the DMC code with the color on the side here just so that when I see it on top of the bottle I'll kind of have a gauge of the color. Um, and I'm still going to keep them in the same kind of order by color. So. Let's get started. Um, I do have some labels because I have a couple that I know I'm going to need more than one. I'm just trying to find... I have... Because, you know, I, I had this already and then I was like, where are my labels? So, um, in case I need to write something out because I have some that... Are repeats but they're slightly different color so I'm going to still put both of them like this 5200 I bought 5200 from um, an Aliexpress store like a different Aliexpress store originally and I bought like a couple different colors but I don't know if you could tell but this 5200 here is a slightly different color than this 5200 here. This is more of an off-white, while this is a very white white. But I'm still going to use both of them. So, so I'll just write 5200 on a different label and put that in. Just because so that I'll have choices. And I have a lot of the other 5200, so I'll put that in there. So... And then this other one, I have these labels made. Hopefully they are cut well. And I don't really need the the swa the color of the 5200 because it's obvious, but... So yeah, so like I said, it's kind of a kidding up. Um, but yet it's not really a kidding up because I'm not kidding up any for anything specific. I'm just putting these into the bottles so that when I'm using them, they'll be in a container and it won't make me go crazy. And then I'll just fill them up with the stuff that's left in my box here when needed. So, 
And plus now my box here is going to get so much less full because I have so many in here. So, so that's that 5200 and then the other 5200 is the more white one. So, so if you watched my unboxing for this storage here, um, I did have to do a little bit of effort. These are not the bottles that came with it. They um, they came with these taller bottles that were always getting caught on the the latch uh, the top of the drawer here that I replaced them with this the other bottles that are slightly shorter um, just so that it'll be easier to get to so so I, I've been starting with white and then usually the next thing is black so my other one is 3865 which is also a very it's very white also um, so my swatch of color is like nothing. Um, I'm not sure how much I'll be able to talk whether this will be a lot harder for me to figure out what I'm doing or not. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, that was a lot. Like I, I filled this bottle up and I still have some drills here. I have used some of these things already, so some of them are going to be empty, but I'll keep the bag in there just so that um, I get a gauge of what I do and I don't use. So that's 3865. Okay, so my 310s, I actually have two 310s also because I bought some, um, like I said, from that one place where I had a thousand, um, a thousand grams and then I bought another place from somewhere else. And if you could see, the this 310 here has kind of a more bluish tint, while this 310 here has a more greenish tint. And I, I believe these ones that I got previously from AliExpress also, but I just chose a random colors. These are acrylic. You could tell they're acrylic because I don't know if you could even tell. There are dimples on the bottom of the drills, while um, the ones I got from um, DPF, I think these ones were from... I can't remember anything. I think it was like Moon Crescent and then these ones were from DPF. The DPF ones are resin drills. So 310. Where is it? I did cut, end up cutting the label in half just because it made cutting it with the blade easier when I didn't have such a long way to go. Just trying to Peel it up there. It's 310. And I'm also going to put that other one because in case I want a greener tint or a bluer tint, I have a choice. Because the thing with the ABs is they do add, like, there's a tint to it. So it doesn't, like, it doesn't look black anymore. Like, these don't look black anymore. They look kind of more of a metallic -y color. So you do have to kind of figure out if that's what you want to go for or not. And then these ones are also 310. And then I also have some like silver ones. I'm not going to label them because I don't have I don't have a number associated to them. They just came when I bought the 1000 grams. And then I think that's what I'm going to do with the rhinestones that I don't have like a code for. I'm just going to have them in a bottle with no um, code, but I'll just still kind of put them in order of color. So I don't know how much I'm going to do. I, I, I we'll see. Uh, we'll see how far I go. I, I even have, I even made labels for the crystal code here. Um, and if I remember, I will add this. Even though it's not really labels, it was just me making, um, this is just from like an Excel spreadsheet that I just made the columns the correct size and, and then I just cut them with um, a blade and then some a ruler on top of a cutting board here. Um, and FYI, I got this from the Dollar Tree. I got this also from the Dollar Tree. I don't know where I got the blade from. I think I got it from Walmart. <laughs> so, Dollar Tree place to get lots of craft stuff for the cheap, right? Um, but, but yeah, right now these are all just going to be the squares. 
I did order a bunch of brown ABs because I, I found I've been having so much fun doing the blinging up for the squares that I've been actually preferentially doing my square diamond paintings as opposed to my round diamond paintings. So I'm thinking maybe if I get the ABs for my square diamond paintings, I'll, I mean my ABs for my round diamond paintings, I'll want to do them more. I don't know. Um, but it's just, yeah, it's just kind of made, like, all these, like, extra blinging up has made me kind of want to do my, my round diamond, my square diamond painting. So I'm thinking, if I, my round ones, if I get some ABs, maybe I'll be like, ooh, I want to do the round ABs too. I mean, the round diamond paintings. I don't know. Or I might just have moods where that's all I want to do. Okay, so, um... My next colors are red. I think I might do a new column, a new row, because I don't know, I might have something else that I want to put here. That I um, mean, so, so I've been putting them in order of like light to dark. Um, so 606, where are you? You're over here. So yeah, I'm not, like I said, I'm not doing them in DMC order, they're in sh color order. Why can't I take the label out? See, that's the problem when... I ended up using my um, non-removable labels just because I figured these are going to be more long-term labels and then if I do have to take them out that's when I'll struggle but for now I figure these are going to be in these bottles a while and then if I run out of it then that just shows that I use it a lot so that when I reorder um, the colors reorder more drills I'll know to order that because I use it a lot and then the ones that I don't use a lot it will just be in here forever <laughs> right so So I think I'm going to end up having more, way more space in this. I'm just trying to, I don't know why, but the, this one is just falling back. Okay. Six, six, six. So where is it? Where is it? Up, up here. That's the problem when I cut these in half. <laughs> So 666 is a lovely red. So I didn't think I'd be able to talk much doing this, but it doesn't seem that, I don't know. I don't know if I have any topics to talk about. <laughs> um, I, I guess I could walk, talk about what so I recently was watching, um, it's on, I was watching it on, on Hulu, but it's normally on NBC. I was watching Making It. I think it was season three of Making It. I must have missed season two because, I, yeah, I must have missed season two and on Hulu they only had season three up. So, um, and I think it was during the pandemic that they recorded it. Like I've noticed a lot of American television like, they don't kind of just don't even mention it, like, as if it's not really a thing going on. Um, maybe because they don't want it to be a focus on the show, because, I mean, the shows that I watch are more lighthearted, so... Um, but yeah, I was watching um, Making It, which is hosted by Amy Poehler and... Is his name Nick Offerman? Overman? Nick, Off I think it's Nick Offerman. Um, they were both on um, Parks and Recreation together, and it's a if it's a crafting show. Although they call it, they all the all the contestants they always called. Um, I'm a maker, and I'm like, and I'm thinking, okay, I I never heard that term until that show. So, um, but since they're calling it making it, I'm guessing that's why they were saying um, this maker. So. It's pretty much like a extreme crafting show, like, um, where, 
they they it's it's like an extreme crafting art show where they make they give them some sort of assignment and then they they make it um but it's entertaining and i am in awe of how good these people are because i'm not in anywhere near good <laughs> i mean that's why diamond paint you don't need you don't need real talent for diamond painting because someone else came up with the pattern and you just have to stick the drills in where the pattern said it was so you could so diamond painting is like um for those who are who like to be crafty but don't want to come up with the the actual i don't know artwork themselves because <laughs> you know prior to me diamond painting i i did some string art which was fun but you know you start running out of ideas for the string art <laughs> and and i was doing the string art like what was i i was doing the string art um with okay so i'm gonna i think i'm gonna do the i'm gonna continue on with the pinks there's a lot of pinks um i was doing the string art but i was then doing it like normal where people use nails and um nails and on like some a wood board i was doing like what i would like to call a oh i don't know it was more of a poor person or more like a person that doesn't have like a garage at the time i did not have a garage um it was so i was using some like i was using two or three pieces of cardboard that i had put together and then i put contact paper over it and then i use um pins you know like pins for like sewing and that was my nails and then i would string um my string were pretty much the um same thread that people use in the cross stitching um and i just bought like a multi-pack of it and then i made string art um <laughs> that's my that was my art of choice prior to diamond painting or it could also be my um i also make jewelry see the problem with making jewelry is it's fun but then but then unless you're mass producing the same thing you keep having to buy more like jewels i guess or like you know beads or something so there's a point where you're just you're just like okay i just can't keep buying beads because there's some i mean you could probably do a couple but I, the main thing i was making were earrings um but yeah like i said like un, un, like unless you have some like unlimited ideas of what to do with the same beads over and over it just did get kind of repetitive and it was hard to figure out what to do next so yeah the thing with diamond painting is you just have to buy another diamond painting kit and there you go there's your next um <laughs> nice i did mess up a little bit when i was um like when you're cutting with the blade you have to be really focused because you could just easily just lose your focus and then suddenly you're like oh i can't i i'm not in the line anymore because that happened to me a couple times on this one. So some of my labels might not be perfectly <laughs> nice and rectangular. Um, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have so much more room in this um, soon because I'm just do I'm putting these all away here, which is great because then I could have more space for um, my rhinestones because I still, um, so my next kitting down will probably be more specials because I have a ton of specials to kit down. Like I'm telling you a lot, like it's, I, if I, I, like pretty much the reason I don't have any of my small containers available to me as in, you know, those like ones with the 28, um, things with the four connected is because they're all being used right now for diamond paintings that I have finished but yet are still in <laughs> not kitted down because they were my specials and for a long time I just didn't know what I was going to do with them 
until recently. And then now that I've been doing all these bling ups, I'm and when I mean specials, I mean I also mean the rhinestones. So until I kind of figured out what I'm gonna do, I just was really hesitant to like kit them down. So they're just kind of all hanging out somewhere in <laughs> my stuff that needs to be kitted down. Um, so, so until those are done, I'm just gonna have perpetual like things to kit down. Um, three, seven, one, six. Why can't I find it? I mean, I, it should be in here. Here it is. Oh, I did not cut this well. Yeah, this is one of those ones I messed up in the cutting. I was just hoping the ones I messed up in cutting I actually didn't have. <laughs> and, or you know, I might end up buying in the future, right? Because more and more ABs are being produced for different colors. Because I don't have them all. So the place where I bought the ABs, um, when, when I went to ask them about buying the rounds, they actually told me they have 150 colors for the square ABs now. And I'm like, wow, 150. 60 seems so much that 150 is like, that's a lot. Um, but when I have the time, I might look through the list they gave me and see if there's any other colors that I want, especially if I start running out. I'm not, I'm not in, I'm not going to buy anything until I'm really low on lots of them. And then at least I'll know which colors I more often use or not. Like, like I'm looking at the color swatch of these two and they're very similar, but yeah, no, this one does look a little bit lighter, but, um, but until I, I do know which, like, see this one, I'm already like pretty, I think I used the, this one a lot in, um, I used this a lot in, it was in my fall time picture, uh, my Diamond Art Club fall time picture. So I think I might actually be able to fit all of this in there, but I'll keep the bag there so that, um, you know, if I get more or something, I could still have it but I see I already used up a good chunk of this one but I think it was because I used this was one of the pinks that I used in my fall time picture from Diamond Art Club but I still have tons of other pinks like I, I think this one like I just had their their choices of ABs were a lot of pinks um, But sometimes, you know, it was better to do that and just tell them, give me everything instead of me choosing the colors. Because you could choose the colors too, because, but choosing the colors has so much more effort. Um, <laughs> and you don't know what you're going to need. Like, sometimes, sometimes when you're bling something up, you're like, I just need something a slightly different shade. This one's too dark or this is too light. And you just, like I said, you don't know what you're going to need. Um... So yeah, I'm going to have more space there, so I'll be able to put more stuff in the end here. Um, I think I'll actually be able to fit all my pinks in this first column. Um, so, 3607, where are you? 3607, down here. Three. No, I didn't cut it well. I do have my cutting board here because I'm afraid of like cutting my I need concentration when I'm cutting apparently Got the label out. See, 
I, no, I don't. I don't have any fancy like cutting boards or anything, or you know, cutting machines. I just don't see myself ever needing it because I don't. Yeah. Watch, I end up buying one. But no, I just don't see myself. I'm not. I'm not that into stickers. Um, other than these labels, so. But I've seen people use them for for beautiful purposes. I just don't have one. 600. I should put the label on. There is 600. But yeah, isn't it? Isn't this pretty? Um, I don't know. <laughs> But depending on how long this video is, I might go into putting in my rhinestones away. If this video is already getting close to an hour, I won't. Um, and that'll be a future one. And plus, it'll give me a chance to wait for my round drills that I'm waiting for. Um, because I did tell you that I bought some round ABs. And I'm thinking I'm not going to have enough slots in this thing. There's 126. So I have 60 of these square ABs. I think I'm going to get like 20 something of the square rhinestones. And I'm going to get 20 something round ABs. So that's already going to be like 100 11 or something spots and then what I'm gonna have 16 spots for my rhinestones so I I ordered another one of these <laughs> I I yeah I figured with the 1999 this was worth it for me to buy another one so I'm thinking I'm going to have my squares in one place and in my rounds in another place and then it'll give me a couple more um, bottles to expand if I need more space for something So, so yeah. 602, where are you? So I think 602 was also another one that I used in uh, diamond painting, the fall time diamond painting. So there is a little bit less of that one than everything else. But like I said, um, I think once, once I start depleting some of these, I might buy more colors. Um, Am I going to be able to fit it all? I don't think I will. There's there's a little bit more of this than can fit, so maybe I'll fill it up, but then that's... I think I'm going to need to move the piece of paper in this one, or... Eh. It'll work out. There's a lot more on the other side. I doubt I'm going to ever be kidding down into these because um, there's just not that many ABs in diamond paintings um, unless you buy the more expensive ones and sometimes even then they're very stingy on the ABs um, or they have their own codes so they might not be the right shade so I'm not anticipating oh, oh. I'm not anticipating that much me kidding down into these baggies. So these are probably going to be pretty much my supply of square ABs. So put my pinks away. Okay, so now I'm going into what I called orange. Um, but yeah, it's not look, look really pretty there. Um, my oranges. And, and, yeah, see, I think I might put those together because these are more of a gradient together and then that will be, I don't know, something else. So, or this could be yellow. Or let's just put this in the end. It's very bright. And that one. Eh, who cares? I'll be able to figure it out. 967. It's over here. Nope, I didn't cut this one well either. There. See, the thing was having these labels with no, with none of the the name of the color. 
which is entertaining to look at. Um, see, that's why that's why I put the the name of the color on the labels. It's just more entertaining to read them that way. But yeah, I was watching Making It, and it's it's if you haven't seen it um, and you like uh, I don't know art competitions, I guess it, it's kind of a crafting competition. I highly suggest you watch it. Although I think. I think they do a little too much stand-up comedy, like I guess since Amy Poehler is a comedian, they do sections where they do a little bit of like, more like, stand-up comedy while the people are making the stuff. I mean, it's entertaining, but it's not- I don't like, what does that have to do with the show? Um, 402. So then in the whole, um, artwork competition thing. I recently just watched, it was, I think it was on Netflix, either Netflix or Hulu. I can't remember sometimes anymore. It was either, Net I'm pretty sure it was Netflix. I forgot what it was called, but it was, um, metal work art. Um, so I think it was metal shop something. I don't know. Maybe I could be wrong, but it was, I think it was just the first season where, um, they, it was a competition, like an art competition, but the medium of the art was metal. So um, it was actually very entertaining, like, because the, the, what they came up with were, was really, really awesome. So it, it kind of reminded me of when I watched the, I think it was called Blown, Blown Away, which was the glass blowing um, competition on Netflix. So th this new, this one I'm talking about is a metal, um, metal, metal, um, art competition, and while the two kinds of art completely different, they are both the people who are crazy, because, I mean, the blowing, um, the art blowing ones, you're, like, using the hot ovens, the metal, the metal one, they're using, like, crazy, um, torches to cut the metal. Yeah, no, these are these are the extreme what well, I'll I'll be like the extreme artist. <laughs> the extreme sports in the arts arena. Um but that one was really entertaining too. I really like that um show. Um because the stuff they're making was just so beautiful and I'm like, I just don't have that skill. You wish you have that no actually I don't know. I think the I think the blow the glass blowing and then the metal art that's just scary, just how they, what they have to do to make the stuff. I'm like, no, nope, I'm good. <laughs> and plus, I don't, I don't have that level of creativity. Like I said, this is why diamond paint, someone else made the pattern. I just put the little beads on, on a pattern someone else came up with. Um, so I don't, I, I, I don't think I, I'm, I don't think I could do a freestyling. I'm, I've tried freestyling some diamond paintings. Um, like, I was freestyling some magnets and it just didn't look right. I was like, no, I don't think I have this freestyling in me. I could do, like, one color. <laughs> Maybe freestyling. That's my freestyling is a one color freestyling. But, yeah, no. Freestyling. Freestyling a diamond painting is hard. But, yeah, there. What was... So, those are my crafting kind of art, artsy shows that I've watched recently. Um, because I just binge watch these things and I just keep going and going. <laughs> right now I'm watching, um, what am I, I'm watching Hell's Kitchen. I don't know when they recorded that, but I, it said it was released in 2020, in the end of 2020. So I don't know if they were filming it during the pandemic because I do know a lot of restaurants have had a hard time during the pandemic just because you know they're closed right oh these look at all these yellows these two yellows look almost the same um but it said it was in 2020 and their their gimmick in this season because it's season 20 which is crazy I think I watched all of the seasons maybe I watched all of them may I, I don't know um but I was watching it on Hulu. I'm watching it currently on, so I'm not done yet. So no spoilers, please. <laughs> but the the gimmick of this year is that everyone I think is younger than 23, I think, or 25. I don't remember. It was it like I, I 
for some reason I think it was 23 so they were calling it um, the young guns or something so um, so everyone is it all the contestants are younger um, and it's been entertaining I've, 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 I've been entertained by the other um, Hell's Kitchen is if you don't know what Hell's Kitchen is it's the one with Gordon Ramsay pretty much yelling at people um, who um, are trying to run the restaurant run the restaurant and then if you win you end up winning usually you end up winning like you being head chef at some of uh, one of Gordon Ramsay's restaurants um, and and then I'm like is this pretty much is I, I don't know is this like pretty much the environment they have in in like the restaurant industry where <laughs> you pretty much just yell at each other um, and yeah I think that's just a little too high stress but if you really love cooking um, and you really love food more power to you but you know I don't think I could I, I don't think I could do that that career but then maybe they're not all yelling <laughs> But what's funny is when Gordon Ramsay is not yelling at them, he's like very nice. And then I'm like, but he's only, but I can see why he yells, you know, it's like, you guys can cook. Why are you giving me raw food? <laughs> so that's what I'm currently watching. Um, Hell's Kitchen. Because why not? Um, I, for some whatever reason, I like watching these kind of competition shows. Um, like I recently finished watching um, American Ninja Warrior. I don't know why I'm very entertained by that show, but I am. Um, and the gimmick they had this year was um, that they allowed they they lowered the qualification age to I think fifteen. Or was it 14? 14 or 15? So you had all these like um, really, well, since, since he was nice about American Ninja Warrior, um, which is um, American Ninja Warrior is actually based off of a Japanese um, reality show. Um, but American Ninja Warrior obviously is the American version. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother putting this one in because it's just not enough. Um, but what was I saying? Um, American Ninja Warrior is based off of a Japanese, um, a Japanese show, and but I do know there's different ones in different countries too, um, but I'm not sure what countries. But but yeah, what's nice about American Ninja Warrior is that male, female, young, old all go on the same track and all compete against each other um so so this year they they lowered the qualification age to um i think it was 14 or 15. um i'm pretty sure it was 15, 14 because i feel like there was some 14 year olds but i could be wrong and it was 15. um but I think with the pandemic, um, they, they're not doing the like walk on people anymore. You kind of just you kind of have to do a audition video and somehow get on the show. So um, I do like that they actually mentioned the pandemic, though, because someone someone had to drop out because they tested positive for COVID. So um, because they were one of the front runners because like the non front runners if the, if they weren't on the show i don't know if people would notice that they left or they people might um but he was one of the front runners and he he couldn't he couldn't be in the finals because he got covid um he at least tested positive for covid but yeah now what's nice about it the show is they um you know male female whatever age they all go on the same um, course so I mean they've been kind of like the last couple years they've been focusing on the like um, females doing really well because there it's I mean when you're competing against 
males and sometimes i mean that's why they have separate male female sports there's just certain things that just it's just body type it's not i'm not saying males are better at the things it's just body type you know males have more upper body strength you know, if they work on it, <laughs> just physically, so, but yeah, the show, they let some teenagers on, and I'm wondering if the older people are regretting it, because they did really well, the teenagers, and I'm thinking, I think 14 is just too young for it, because, um, so I think, like, in, in, like, gymnastics or something, they, they have that um, and I've noticed it in gymnastics and in like figure skating, because that's pretty much the only <laughs> sports I watch. Um, they've heightened the um, eligibility ages, um, mainly because I think when you're a teenager, you're just slightly more flexible. So, yeah. But no, the teenagers did very, very well on American Ninja Warrior, so... Um, but yeah, I think 14 or 5th was too low. I think they should have just stuck it out to the 18. Um, <laughs> or something like that. Or 16. Because now the poor older people are having to compete against people who are half their age. Um, so, um... So this is another one where um, I had gotten 704, like, I just just chose it. I don't know, I was like, I need a green, so let's just use 704. Um, and then I also got 704 from that other AliExpress diamond painting site. And they're different shades, so um, I'm going to put both of them in somewhere. So I'm like, where's my labels? Where's my labels? have a lot of these ABs so I might just be I might just have to just do my squares and then um, the round um, rhinestones will have to be another video um, and plus it'll give me chance to kick down more and accumulate more round rhinestones maybe so I'm not bothering writing square or round because I'm just gonna put the squares in one place and then the rounds in one place so I'm not going to need to, you know, figure out where's what, um, and I'm not bothering writing rhymes, I'm not bothering writing AV because, oh, you know, I just realized I was just redoing the same one when I meant to do the next one. I was like, why do I have so little of this? I was like, because I already went and did that one. Um, <laughs> that's why. It's because I'm talking and doing this at the same time, right? And I'm getting hungry. It was like hailing right before I started this and thundering. So if if it starts thundering, it's because we're actually it's actually raining. Seven o one seven. So see, since you know these are not in order of DMC, it's like I have to search for it. Oh, here's seven o one. I think I need a drink of water. But yeah, I th this is actually taking much longer. It's, well, it's pretty much I'm kidding up like 60 colors. Um, and I'm also kind of doing a search for the sticker thing. So, <laughs> oh, oh, I almost poured that in with the cap still on. That would have been bad, right? But might have made entertaining um, um, an entertaining video, you know, when I'm incredibly distracted and I don't even open my bottles. Okay, 3818. Where are you, 3818? You're in here. I actually did a relatively good job cutting these with the blade, which I'm happy. I only had to... Do an extra cut for a couple of them. I have used this one. Um, I have used a good amount of this one, so. So, let me pour. 
So, yep, this is looking really good. I think I might... See, my next one is the next category, and there's only two bottles left in there. So I think I might go on to the next, um, the next drawer, because... Because, you know, I'm on my next category of color. Um, but man, look at how much more space I have. So I'm in my next category of color, which is this blue-green. So I think I'm gonna... That looks like the right order. So I'm gonna get my next um, shelf here. And... 3756. 3756. Um, 3756 is like a really, really pale blue that um, sometimes before I bought these, I would actually just use 5200 AB because I have a lot of 5200 AB. Um, that's the one I bought a lot of just because it's the easiest one to bling up with an AB without it affecting your picture. Because sometimes if if you do use these ABs, they are a completely different shade than the original um, what's under it because the plastic under it is different and then these are kind of add like a metallic-y look to it. So so for certain, certain images, it might not look right to change it to the AB color. They're like white um, looks really good regardless um, when you use it. Um, so you don't really have that problem where it kind where it can skew up, skew um, like mess up the actual rendering. So, so if you don't want to get a bunch of colors, I swear, just seriously, just get white and then just replace <laughs> white. Just keep replacing white, and you'll be happy enough. Um, and the white could replace, um, if you get 5200, you could replace um, several different colors with it, like 3865. Um, this 3756 is a very, very light blue that if you use the white AB, you'll be fine. It'll look fine. Um, I bet you there is a bunch of other ones that would look fine just using 5200 AB. Um, 955. Nope, I didn't cut this one well. Just when I was saying how great I was at cutting. <laughs> Just trying to cut the part I cut already. Nine, five, five. But yeah, that's why I ended up getting a lot of 5200. Um, 310 AB also is a relatively easy um, substitution, but it can really, really change your image. So, um, because it it looks metallic. So, you could choose to use it, but, um, you know, do like a little test part and see if you like it before you go all like, let's go abify this, replace all this, all the, um, and replace all of the 310 with ABs. One, diamond painting ABs are a pain if you've done a large amount of AB drill diamond painting. Sometimes they're just a pain to diamond paint just because the coating on the top of the drill does kind of mess with the, your wax. So, and if you've also done things with rhinestones, the silvering on the drills can mess with your wax. So, yeah, sometimes it, it, it can be annoying to down paint with these special drills, but they're just so, so pretty. They're just so pretty. And plus, I don't know, I think the more you down paint, the more you're just like, you want to try to do other things sometimes too. Like, it's a different, like, this is why I go back and forth between the squares and the rounds. Um, just because sometimes you're just like, I just need, I just need something different. But it's kind of remarkable how, like, you forget how to do one over the other. Like, if you've 
went on a round diamond painting binge and then suddenly you did a square you're like wow look at how small the squares are because <laughs> the squares you could tell like they are significantly smaller um the grid is significantly smaller you wouldn't think just being the difference between 2.8 and 2.5 millimeters nope it's it's significant you can see the difference three eight four six where are you um so yeah but right now i i i don't know i've done i've done like two squares in a row and then before that i just did a little round so this is that really count um Did I do a round? I don't even know. Oh no, I was doing, I'm doing, a, I'm, I've been doing a lot of squares, but then I, I was, I'm still doing that big, the bigger Diamond Art Club, the, the Chuck Pinson one, that's a round. Um, and then I'm, I go back and do another square. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really, I'm really doing, I'm enjoying doing squares right now for whatever reason. Um, so... Okay, so the next one is my blues. I have a couple, a lot of blues. So, three, eight, four, one. Or I might, since this is my next category, I'll just start in the next one. I have extra bottles and And, you know, I might have to rearrange things again anyway. Um, the one problem with these bottles is it's not like this where I'm just like, I could just move it forward. No, I'm going to have to take out the bottles and rearrange them. But like I said, there's, I'm, I'm doing this because I don't like diamond painting out of these baggies. It just annoys me so, so much. So, so much. And hence why I, I kit everything up even when they come in baggies. Um, and it was just blinging up and then using the baggies and it just I just didn't like it so hence why I'm doing this but it's a really pretty gradient here um 800 up here nope I didn't cut this one well either no I did So the reason I'm having a hard time is because this used to be one big sheet and then I cut it in half because it was easier to cut with the blade when it was cut in half. So it's like I'm seeing it, it's doing this, and then, but wait, I'm like, oh wait, it's like that. So, so, let's see. Oh. I wonder if I'm going to be like even more blinging up with the stuff on here, just... And then yeah, now I have to do my rounds, so then I'll I'll be compelled to do more rounds, cause <laughs> I've just been really really doing a lot of squares recently. Uh, nine nine six nine nine six. It's up here. I'm gonna have to reprint these DMC label things. I was thinking of just printing out the ones that I have, but I was like, that's too much effort. I'll just do them all, and then um, if I need the label for something else, I'll get the label for something else. Or you know, I end up getting that AB for it. I'll just I'll just keep the sheet. Okay, so I think I might actually be able to fit all of the 996. I don't think I've used this, but I think this is one of the ones that they didn't give me that much of for whatever reason. So I'll just keep the bag in case. But there. Three, eight, four, three. So, yeah, is this, what is this? Is this a kidding up? Is it a kidding down? I'm gonna have to ponder which, um, <laughs> which category to put it in in my playlist. Because. I'm kind of kidding up. Yeah, I'm, I'm kidding up. This is kidding up. 
I'm kidding up my ABs. That's what it is. <laughs> not, not kidding down because there's nothing I'm kidding down. So I'll put it in my kidding up um, playlist. See the things, and then I'll I'll call this video kidding up my my square ABs. So, still a lot of blues. Oh yeah, I think I, I have the 820s twice. But these kind of look... No, this one's darker. I was going to say they look they look more similar than the other ones. 995. I think this one might all fit also. Actually, it won't. It it'll be if 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 I did, it would be a very close fit, and I'd rather just not, since it's not like I'm trying to fit in the whole kit's worth. I'm still gonna put them in here. Seven nine six. I'm getting kind of hungry. <laughs> I'm, I'm recording this in the afternoon, so it's like, it's, it's almost snack time, dinner time, I don't know. And I think I'm going to post it, this is going to get posted on Wednesday instead of Monday, because my, I'm going to, yeah, I think it'll just get posted, I don't know, we'll see. So, 8.20... I might just post it on Monday. I don't see why I would have to post it on Wednesday. See, my, yeah, I won't spoil it in case I post it on Monday. Because <laughs> it, it, it just it was just a matter of my Tuesday video. Um, which I've already recorded my Tuesday video, so. So, let's see, 8.20. Since I have plenty of it. But yeah, I think I think this will still just be my Monday video, or I might make it a Wednesday video. I don't know. And then move my Wednesday vid my normal Wednesday video to Monday. We'll see. We'll see how I feel doing my scheduling of my videos. So these are my very dark blues. I'm surprised there's no 9390. Maybe it just wasn't in their list at that point. But the 823 AB and the 791 are very dark also. Um, see, when you see these by shade, you're just like... They're just practically the same shade of blue, <laughs> especially these dark ones. That you can interchange them, and I think you won't notice, especially with the AB coating on them. They're going to look exactly the same, practically. Um, and that's why you probably don't need the AB for every single color. You could get a bunch of different colors and then just use the same one for the similar colors. I did use 823 in a recent diamond painting so I might actually be able to fit this all in there. Because um, I did use a good amount of it. It's raining again, it might be, it was, it thundered, it was thundering earlier today. Um, We're in much. We're getting the much needed rain that Washington was not getting. <laughs> you know how how Seattle is known for the rain. 
we we were not getting much rain at all this summer. Okay, that's a tight fit, um, but I, it, it's fine. It's not, it's going to close. I've had it. 791. Looks a little lighter on my picture here. So I think I might just put, even though it's pretty dark, I might just put the A23 later. Um, <laughs> Just because, just the shade of the, the my, <laughs> the shade on my label just looks darker. So, so now I'm doing my purple ones. See, the two tens are also ones I got before, and they do actually look pretty different. So, I need more labels. So let's see, 210 over here. This really pretty purple, which I thought I would use a lot of, <laughs> and that's why I got some. Um, see, that's the thing when you're when you're just choosing the colors yourself, you're like, I don't know what. Which ones would be the ones I use a lot? And then you could be wrong in your choice. 210. I think this was when I was buying like 20 grams of a couple colors. And I think this was the bag it came in, and that's why there's this like marker on 210. Oh, it's really pouring now, right now. 208. I don't know if you'll hear it through the. On, I don't know if my camera will. Microphone will pick it up. But it's raining pretty hard right now. It was hailing a little earlier. And it has not rained in a long time here, so the ground is dry. So I hope that doesn't cause like flooding or something. 208, 333. I think 333 was one of those ones where I was pondering whether to put it into purple or blue, but I think this one is like a blue violet. Um, Yeah, see my 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 color here is more of a purple, um, but looking at it, the the actual like AB coating they put on it is it looks more it looks more purple. Yeah, I wonder how they do the AB. Is it like do they add the same coating and um, and it or is there different coatings for it? There has to be different coatings because my black had like the two different kind of metallic coats on there. So now I'm doing what I categorized as gray. Um, wait, where's my? That's what I'm. My there. Now I'm doing what I'm categorized as gray, which is who knows what, right? Um, so 762, 762, yeah, no, see this swatch of this one does look great. Yeah, these are the ones I called gray. I think I did use this one a couple on my fall time picture. This was the predominant um, white background, even though it's not completely white. I 
have too much air in there. Sixty-two, and then let's see, one sixty-eight. This is another thing I called gray, which I figure I feel like if I see the little picture color here and it doesn't look that way, I might put it somewhere else. Because um, I know one of the rhinestones, um, it's supposed to be brown, but it looks purple. And I think I even saw that on, I forgot which um, of the, maybe it was DP with sparklers, where they were selling um, a rhinestone and then they even put in a, in parentheses, looks purple. And I'm guessing someone bought it and they were complaining that this one is not brown, it's, it's purple. And then, because you know, we're all just a bunch of complainers, right? <laughs> This is actually taking me longer than I thought to do, so I don't think I'm going to get to my putting away my rhinestones, so that'll be a future video. And I might be putting it away in a different container because I'm not going to have enough space in this one. So this one might be just my squares um, stuff. And I was also thinking, like, I got all these drills from Diamond Dots, too. FYI, these are really big bottles. The Diamond Bot Dot bottles are much bigger than the bottles that come in the storage. So these are the, like, drills from Diamond Dots. So um, I've been using those to bling things up, too. So, you know, this a silver one. Maybe I shouldn't put it in with gray, and I'll just put it in with the black. Um, no, I'll put it in with the gray. Eh. I think I'll be able to fit them all. So I'll use this bag for something else. Why do I put this with rhinestones later? Um, I do have these square rhinestones that I got from Shimmering Canvases um, that I have to put away too. I'm going to put them away in these things too um, because, like I said, I don't like working out of the baggies. Um, oh, I have a rogue one here. I know which one it is. It's one of those. So, my next category was brown, and that's my last category in these here. So now I've actually, I actually have so much more space in this, which is great because now I can have more space to kit things down. Um, so 8.53, you know, I kind of just want to put this over in the blacks because now I only have three spaces here. So, so 4.53 over here. These are what I call brown um, because they look brown to me. Um, or really light brown. Nope. Okay. Almost done. These browns are the last ones. And then I'll I'll have all my squares. A, B's all in these bottles now and I think that'll make blinging up so much easier um, or it might also tempt me to buy more to, um, <laughs> to, to buy more colors um, 3864 this is much lighter than my color swatch there but you know printers and actual plastic are completely different colors and that's why I had I was completing my DMC chart um, Nine three eight it does look like a very dark brown. Which I didn't cut well.
Yeah, now I'm gonna have to find a place to keep these DMC labels. Maybe I should have just only made them for the ones I have. <laughs> but that would have taken more time, I think, just trying to sift through what my numbers were. So there it is. Um, I'm done with this. Now I actually can spread out my rhinestones a little bit more um, because my squares are not taking up as much space because they are very, my rhinestones are very squished in there. Um, but I am going to also put my rhinestones away in this thing, so, uh, which will be a future video. I'm going to put this there just to keep hold of it. Um, So, yep. Okay, so I am done with this. So in case you want to see the stuff I kitted up at the end here. So here is all my ABs. They're in color order from light to dark. Um, and I still have a third, um, third drawer. So yeah, I think this will be really 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 pretty at the end so that's all for today so thank you for watching and happy diamond painting bye